Hi, my name is Chef Richard Placencia, Executive Chef at South Miami Hospital. Today we'll be cooking a pork tenderloin with quinoa avocado salsa, and we'll be pairing it with a broccolini to put a spin on a lighter version of a traditional Latin dish. We're going to start off by bringing some water to a boil, and we're going to add our quinoa. And all we're going to do is add some hot water over our quinoa, then wrap it up tightly and let it seep. While we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and start our avocado and tomato salsa. What we're going to do is we're going to take one avocado, and we're going to slice one tomato. We're going to season that with a little salt and pepper with just a touch of extra virgin olive oil. The next thing will be we're going to take our pork tenderloin, and we're going to marinate it with salt, pepper, rosemary, and we're going to sear it on all sides. Now once that's seared on all sides, we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And now for one of our last steps, we're going to finish off the quinoa mixture. We're going to start by heating up a saute pan over medium heat. We're going to add a little olive oil. And we're going to take some of the peppers, onions, and garlic that we've chopped, and saute it for just a few minutes. So it's just translucent. And we're going to uncover our quinoa. Right in. And the last step to tie in all our Latin flavors, we get some low sodium black beans. Okay, now for one of our last steps before we plate, we're gonna go ahead and blanch off our broccolini, get some boiling water, and we're just gonna drop it in for a couple minutes. So to plate up, we're gonna take our broccolini. Spread it throughout the plate. Take my quinoa mixture. Make sure you use a half cup. Take our fully cooked pork tenderloin. Give it a little more color and pop with our avocado and tomato. Finish the dish with we'll drizzle with just a touch of vinegar. And there you have it, our finished dish. A healthy twist on traditional Latin flavors.